Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we'll talk about the E1 Primer's Android app. Uh, Apple is similar, so you just go to your Play Store and download the app. Uh, make sure your Bluetooth is on, start the app. And your first screen you should see is that, and your machine should be on there. Click it, connect. Sometimes there's a glitch, it will uh, fail the connection. Don't worry about it, just uh, go back out of the app and uh, reconnect and it should work. Just give it a little bit of time. Then it will go to your main screen which has uh, at the moment 8 sections. Uh, it is loading, sometimes it will show an error at the bottom, just ignore that. If you click on the top right, you can see the uh, customization menu as well. And so we'll start, uh, we'll have a look at the menu, what you can customize. There's eight different ones, display, key and display. You can switch off key and display if you want. I'm having, uh, I have it all on just to show you. So we'll start at the top uh, left, uh, which is the display, and this basically shows your, basically your name, uh, active recipes. I haven't really played with that. Um, your brew temperature. This is not real real time. Uh, it's just what you set it to. Your time is the well, the amount of brew time that you you did last on your last shot. Uh, pump pressure zero because I'm not brewing now and steam pressure is what I set it to 2.1 maximum I think it's 2.5 going across we'll go to key and display LED is the lights at the back and your exit brewing time is how long your counter stays on for after you stop brewing so let's go back out to water dosing now so from the top you have your hot water then you have your water dose setting and then down below is the pre-wet setting uh, so dose one is your left key dose two is your right button the middle button as you know is uh, manual hot water setting time key one is when you push on it uh, time key two is when you pull on it so you can set different durations so I'll change the dosage now, you can either use the slider like I did or you can uh, try and slide it, it's very sensitive. Just make sure you save and when you do it will say machine is updated as you can see. One of the features of the primer is it allows for volumetric dosing but this is not in cup volumetric dosing it's how much water for example i have those one set at 60 milliliters it will give you 60 milliliters of water not espresso it's not gravimetric uh, dosing as such or volumetric in cup dosing another feature of the primer is its pre-wetting function uh, this is not pre-infusion where the pump is on Pre-wet is where the pump comes on, then off. We'll come back to this and have another look a bit later on. Going back out, we'll have a look at the temperature section. Uh, the top from the top is the steam boiler setting. You have your actual pressure of your steam boiler. Then you set the set point. Uh, at the moment it's two. At the bottom is your brew temperature setting. Uh, you can change the setting using the slider or the plus and minus uh, symbol. Just make sure you save it, which is the top right. Uh, so I'm just setting the temperature to 94. It's a bit hard, so I can type it in and then just make sure you uh, press save. And I forgot to mention the steam pressure. The maximum steam pressure, which I'll show you now, is 2.5. Minimum is well, 0, uh, but you wouldn't use that. Uh, so I'll just set it at 2, make sure you save it, go back out and we'll have a look at the counters. Starting from the top, dose left, uh, dose center and dose right, that's key uh, buttons A, B and C. Then we have total coffee which is basically A, B and C added up. 
uh, total liters of water, your total number of times you use steam, easy cream is additional item to make frothing easier. Um, hot water key one and two, self-explanatory. Steam left key one and two, same thing, that's an app glitch with the left key one for the steam. Easy left key one and two, don't know what that is. Then at the bottom we have total coffee machine, that is basically total coffee. And below that is total maintenance cycle, which I'm not quite sure what that is yet. Going back out, power management is the next one, switch it on and off, there's nothing there yet. Hopefully they'll put a scheduler in there. So going back out, the next thing we'll look at is machine cleaning. Automatic uh, group purge, you can switch it on and off, uh, usually keep it on, that's one of the features of the primer. Uh, at the moment I've set purge to 2.5 seconds, delay of 2 seconds, 2 seconds will allow me to move my water filter and scale out of the way before it purges for 2.5 seconds. You can change the timing using the sliders. Next thing, last one, technical settings, you need a password for this. I'll make another video on it and everything inside. Um, my coffee, my recipes, I don't have any at the moment, uh, but you can put some in. In the cloud, there are recipes from other people. So, for example, the first one is Jane, uh, a couple of others. Uh, Link is pretty active. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look at Jane's, what she does. So dose in 20, dose out 40, so 1 to 2, shots around 28 seconds. Um, what else does she have on it? Uh, that's her machine settings. So she's got button A as 40 mil, button C as 60 mil. No pre-wet. Um, yeah, so going back out, maybe we'll have a look, uh, look uh, link. Uh, 18 in, what's that, 26 out, uh, 28 second shot, and his pre-wet is on for 4 seconds and then off for 3, and then the brewing comes on. You can also go down and set the flavours, the taste of the coffee beans. Back out, uh, this is my machine as you know already, 94 degrees Celsius, etc, etc, pre-wetting is off. Then there is a setting for the machine itself. So the next page, there you go, language, English, temperature Celsius.